um, she went and put this, converted the whole image to paint this way. And then she said, how do you become an artist? You take the brush and you take different, um, there's a tube, puts a lot of paint down. You take different paint and you try to, um, there's not enough tonal range on here. But what you do now, if you turn the background off, that is the paint that you have on the, on the canvas. And whatever I do with a shop stick, you also can do with your finger, right? Now, of course, it has to calculate a lot of the physical simulation of the real thing. I mean, it's uh, simulating pencil and paper. Let's see. Oops, it's, it got too far ahead because it really has to do a lot of calculation. But I really wanted to show you, I mean, unfortunately, here in the preset samples, there was not uh, anyone that had more tonal range. It would be nice to have like some other colors in here like that or, or bring to mix it in. But anyway, if I could go and take like another layer here, then let's make a couple of layers and it's easier to superimpose them later. So let's pick the next layer up. And here we have this other thing, it's a glitter gun. It's a glitter gun, makes like many pixels here and it still picks like, let's bring the tracing image back. It shows the tracing image, so there's like this little object in the, so you paint in here. And if you make the glitter size smaller, I mean there's three ways. You can use the like size, with a percentage, or you just go in the middle, up and down. So if you make the glitter size very small, it becomes very uh, pointillistic and very realistic. So you bring this in. So you have like a little painting. And then again, let me show you how it looks if you would print it out. See, I don't, I can disable the photo and it, but I mean still, this is for the five-year-old did. So now the five-year-old needed to sign it to show it to her mother and she didn't have the motoric skills to write her name in a big name, right? So now let's find another layer. Let's find some tool and what's this here, VLIF? Let's try to copy this. Uh, so, um, what, but I showed the five-year-old. How, how do you make that small now to put it in the corner like a, like a signature? So what you would do, you would take the line of the five year old from me. So you make the stencils from the lines there, and now you do have a stencil. You can move it around, you can scale it. You can rotate it a little. Move it into the corner. And uh, you turn that layer that made this thing off. So on the next layer now, let's make some gold. Let's make some yellow, medium yellow. And then we get some color, like lighter, a little bit lighter. Can you move this one up? No, the inner, the inner one. You have to go with your finger there. I can't, see, there's one extra dot. Oh, I can't reach it. No, closer. This one, this one needs to go. Closer. No, uh, let me try again. There. See, I moved it up here. This inner one, which is light and dark. And here I changed the color. Okay, let's make gold and we take some metallic. Now try your finger there on this one. Can you move this dot over? Okay, let's make gold. I guess we don't have metallic, we just have. I guess making gold is not that easy on any given day. And we can fill. Uh, so now we can fill this in. We go to another layer. And, and so whatever you paint, the uh, whole user interface get out of the way. Anyway, our effect of gold did not work, but what I have here is like uh, a little sketch and you can do the same as technical drawing. As an intelligence, you like it? Yeah. We should put your name in next time.